What's going on guys? Welcome back to another video. This is going to be part number two in my Sequoia Camper Rebuild series. In the first part of this series, if you haven't already seen it, I built this frame that you can see in the back of my Sequoia there. Uh, this is going to hold some drawers and pretty much all of my camping gear. So in the second part, we're gonna move on to actually building the drawers themselves. So I am expecting the drawers to be a lot more difficult. There is a lot more that goes into it compared to just a pretty simple frame. So let's go ahead and get started. So to get started with these drawers, there are just a lot of cuts that I have to make. Um, I did go ahead and try and plan out all of my cuts beforehand. Um, this, I, I did this so that I kind of knew how much wood and plywood I needed to purchase. So I did spend a lot of time drawing out all of the cuts. And this should be all of the pieces I need to build these drawers. So um, I think that's what we're gonna start out with. Marking out all of these lines and making a whole bunch of cuts. The nice part though is once we get all of these pieces together, then we should be able to just build it almost just like a big Lego set. Is there anyone still here who feels just a little like me? And it's midnight in Houston, but my watch it says 10.43. I'm trying my best to believe in the best left in me Oh, you're crying to test of the veins of my fluid belief So I wanted to give you guys an update. It has been a very, very long day and I know I haven't been talking much and that's because I have just been super busy. So I've basically just been making a whole bunch of cuts, trying to get prepared and trying to get all of the pieces ready so that I can just go ahead and assemble the drawers with everything cut and uh, ready to go. So there are a lot of different pieces that need to be cut. Um, I have big, basically four by eight sheets of plywood and I need to turn them into all of these small pieces. So made about like 25 pieces today um, I have a lot more to go tomorrow, but it's been super nice because I spent a long time on this, but I'll show you guys here. Basically what I ended up doing, oops, what I ended up doing is um, kind of drawing out and labeling all of the cuts that I needed to make. This took a very, very long time to do all of the measurements and figure out where to arrange everything, but it's been so worth it because now I can kind of just follow this guide that I made and get all of the cuts and know that I'll have all of the pieces ready to go. So it's been about nine hours today of working on it. Um, it's about 10.30 right now. Uh, so thinking of wrapping it up soon tonight and continuing tomorrow. But again, just trying to get all of the pieces cut and then that way it'll be easy to start the assembly of the drawers. Welcome back guys, it is the second day now. I'm continuing with all of the cuts, getting all of the pieces ready and just hoping I can finish up all of those today.
little update. I'm still working my way through all of these cuts. There are so many and it's going really slow. Part of the problem is this, uh, this rip fence. I think that's what it's called for making rip cuts. Uh, it does not line up perfectly straight. Uh, it's kind of bent a little bit. I've been trying to find a way to make some of these rip cuts. It's a little bit more challenging. Um, the one thing I'm going to try now is just clamping down this uh, T-square here. Um, just seeing if that can kind of give me a straight edge. I've been using the miter gauge. I was trying it, but it just doesn't work too well for some of these cuts. So uh, hopefully, hopefully this T-square kind of speeds things up, but just a slow process and don't want to mess up the wood. So taking my time, but more cuts to go. And then I have to cut a whole bunch of quarter inch sheets of plywood. Uh, but again, I think it will be so worth it to have all of the pieces ready to go and then I can start assembly. So I'm gonna get back to it and continue making the cuts. So after about two full days of cutting, two eight to nine hour days, I have finally finished all of the cuts for the half inch pieces of plywood. I still have a bunch of cuts to make with the quarter inch pieces of plywood. All of the quarter inch pieces are going to be used to kind of make dividers uh, on the insides of these drawers. It'll make more sense once I show you guys all of that. I basically have one more four by eight sheet of plywood that is a quarter inch thick to cut down into a lot. And by a lot, I really do mean a lot of these super small little pieces. So. Definitely making progress. It feels great to have all of the half inch pieces cut. All of the kind of framing for the drawers themselves are pretty much cut and ready to go. Just the quarter inch pieces left, so. Let me in, let me down. You can't make up your mind. It's all the same by now. You go again, another round. It is about 11 o'clock. I have been going pretty much straight since about 10 a.m. this morning. So over 12 hours, I did stop obviously for dinner, lunch, and uh, just to grab a little bit of food, but it's pretty much been 12 hours straight now of cutting, but I am determined to try and finish up tonight because I'm so close. I'm still working on the quarter inch plywood. I have maybe about 20 to 25 more cuts to do so far. It's getting late, so I had to shut the garage door, um, try and keep the noise level down a little bit here in the neighborhood, but uh, so close, just hoping I can wrap it up here. Okay, so it is after midnight. I started at about nine this morning. So it has been a very, 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 very long day to say the least. But um, I'm pretty sure at least I finished up with all of the cuts that I needed to do. Um, they're all in the back of the Sequoia right now, kind of divided between left and right drawers, but I'll probably try and lay them all out to show you guys how many pieces there are that are going into these drawers. Um, Again, the reason for this is because I'm making dividers. Everything is super specific. There's all these precise measurements that needed to be done. And 
it took such a long time. I'm absolutely exhausted. Probably gonna take tomorrow off and just rest a little bit. I am uh, definitely needing it. Um, the only reason I'm rushing this so much is because I am moving in about a week now and trying to get this whole bed system and drawers built uh, before I have to move. So um, a little bit of pressure there, which is probably helpful, but also results in some long days like this. So that's gonna wrap it up for today. Um, I'll probably see you guys tomorrow or the next day to show you guys all of the pieces. All right guys, welcome back. Uh, it is a couple days later. Where I left off, I just finished cutting all of the wood pieces or I'm pretty sure all of the pieces. Hopefully there might be one or two other pieces that come up that I might need to cut in the future. But for the most part, I'm pretty sure like 99% of the wood cutting is done. So uh, I'll show you guys in a second all of the pieces that are in the back of the Sequoia right now. Um, and today we're gonna move on to kind of getting started assembling the drawers. So lots of pocket hole drilling to do. Um, I need to also uh, probably mount the sliders and get those into the frame. But yeah, the plan today is kind of just starting to actually assemble all of these pieces we have now. Here is a look at all of the pieces I had to cut. There are so many and this took a couple day, a couple days of work, including one, um, including one almost 12 hour day. I have about a week left to get this all together before I have to move, so definitely uh, running short on time, um, but let's go ahead and get started. The other thing I did too is I did label all of the pieces. I did that uh, when I was making the plans and uh, this will just help me keep track of all of these different pieces. Some of them are really similar in sizes, just slightly different. So this is kind of my way of keeping everything organized or at least trying to, just to make it easier for me when I start assembling everything. So this is the biggest thing I'm still a little bit worried about since I am using the drawer sliders and I know uh, everything should be ideally pretty straight for that. Um, as you can see, the front of the drawer slider right there is flush. It goes straight all the way back for the most part. And then right here at the end, there's just a slight, there's just a slight gap. I guess the way I built this, it is accidentally 1 16th of an inch wider in the back. So it's not perfectly straight. I'm hoping I can kind of just push the slider in and get it to sit flush and it'll work fine. But um, I guess I'll find out here in a second. That's the one thing I noticed earlier and the one thing I'm still a little bit concerned about so all right so as far as how i am attaching the sliders to this frame here i'm using these bolts here i have seen so many different names for them so i'm sorry i don't know exactly what they're called but basically they thread together um there's kind of like almost like a male and a female side and you can uh, thread them together just they have allen Allen heads on the end they sit pretty flush um they're called i don't know like these ones they say I say like hex drive sockets. These are M6 and I got a whole bunch of different lengths just because uh, they took a while to get shipped here and I don't have a ton of time to reorder anything if I didn't get the right lengths. So I think I got 10 millimeters, 12, 15, 16, and maybe 20, just a whole bunch of different lengths just to pretty much hopefully uh, cover me for anything that I might need. So one thing I'm gonna start with doing is kind of this part, the socket part. Um, most of these holes, it fits through uh, where it slides in like that, but there are a couple where um, the hole is not quite big enough in the slider. So I am just going to use a metal drill bit and just expand that a little bit just so we can fit this through. And then uh, we'll go ahead and start drilling holes in the frame and actually attaching it with these bolts. both sliders together. Uh, I should just do one side and the reason for that is if I have both sliders on here I can't use this block 
on the back and the wood is just going to split. The reason I'm still going to put screws through while I drill the other holes is just to hold it all in place. Um, that way you know everything is going to be lined up. If I don't hold it in place, it might shift forward or backwards and the holes might be off a little bit. So. Light up the house and lock the door Come out and meet me on the porch Cause I'm coming home Train your eye on the setting sun nice the sliders lock in at the end um, and these ones I got are 500 pound sliders so they should be super super strong you can see if you put weight on it it lifts the whole frame before the slider even moves so uh, kind of cool all right so the sliders are in I just put the frame with some help back into the back of the Sequoia, this thing is super, super heavy now. I think each of the sliders are like 40 pounds each. Uh, so that's like, what, 160 pounds worth of sliders. And then of course the wood frame is another maybe 40, 50 pounds or so. So about 200 plus pounds probably. It's a hefty, it's a beast for sure. Um, the next steps is to actually start assembling all of the drawers. I have all of the pieces laid out here and it definitely <laughs> looks like a lot so gonna be a lot of work but um, that's the next steps all right so what I'm doing right now is finally getting started on assembling these drawers I'm starting with the left drawer and basically uh, how I am going to be doing dividers is I used quarter inch plywood to kind of cut out these different flat pieces and I plan to glue those to the siding of the drawer that way there's going to be this kind of these little gaps and that is where you can slide in um, these dividers. So uh, that's kind of what I'm starting with, laying out and marking exactly where everything goes now. Um, and then I will glue these pieces together and let them dry. And again, they all have these little gaps um, and that is where you're gonna be able to put in the dividers. Uh, that way you can take them out put them in if you want, uh, it's up to you. And it seemed a little bit easier for me to do it this way versus uh, using a router, I think that's what it's called, and making slots into the actual side piece itself. Um, you can see that's what it looks like with a router, um, where it's actually into the wood. Uh, I've used it before, it's just not my favorite tool. I'm not the most comfortable with it, so this seems like a little bit easier of a way for me to make dividers, so. So right now what I'm doing is gluing all of these quarter inch pieces of plywood onto the sides of my drawers. These are going to be what forms the dividers. That way I kind of have more organization with one of these drawers. And uh, as you guys who watch my videos know, organization was one of the biggest reasons I wanted to rebuild this entire setup. So right now gluing these pieces on, uh, just using some weights to kind of hold them in place while the glue dries. Don't really have any great clamps right now to hold them and the weights uh, make it super easy. So that's what I'm doing right now. Um, 
Just gonna let the pieces sit for a little bit and dry. Once they kind of uh, are secure in place, I'll do the other side of the drawer. going to be the front of the drawer. Uh, you'll see why it's shorter in a bit. Then we got the back of the drawer and then we got the bottom as well. So lots of pocket holes. I want to make sure this is super solid. So I'm going to use a bunch of screws and then also a bunch of wood glue to hold it all together. So as you guys saw earlier, I glued the uh, quarter inch pieces of plywood to the sides of the drawers. Uh, that's been drying for a little bit with some weights putting pressure on it. That should be good to go. Uh, I think it's been, I mean, about an hour and a half, maybe even two hours. So I feel like that should be solid. So that should be held together now, which means that we can move on to uh, putting the drawer itself together. kind of test fitting all of the pieces that I'm about to assemble just making sure everything lines up everything is looking good I figure I'll start by attaching the back and the front letting that dry So right behind me right now, the drawer is coming together and starting to actually look like a drawer. And let me just tell you, it is so rewarding to see it pretty much look identical to the designs that I spent literally weeks on. The glue has been drying here for probably an hour and a half or so. And I also went ahead and attached all of the screws for the pocket holes. So I'm gonna flip this thing over um, and we're gonna attach the bottom now to complete this drawer. So first of all, I've got to remove all these clamps, then I'm going to pull out the dividers, and then we will glue and attach the bottom. So you can see where I drilled all of the pocket holes uh, all along the bottom here. This is where I will attach it. Um, and then also, if I lift this up, you can see the quarter inch pieces of plywood. That's kind of where this uh, bottom piece is resting. So I'll also put some glue and yeah, this should be pretty solid. Welcome back guys, it is the next day. I think I'm gonna to start today by trying to mount this first drawer into the frame, attaching it to the sliders. So let's see if we can get that done before we move on to building the second drawer.
as you guys saw, I just got the left main drawer installed into the frame. Uh, I still have to make the smaller drawer and put that together, add the sliders, do all of that. Uh, but I think I'm gonna start with the other main drawer, uh, the right side, and just try and get that one together. And then I'll do the smaller drawers kind of as the last thing. So um, let's go ahead and get started. We're gonna do the same thing as we did with the left drawer where we take the quarter inch pieces of plywood for the dividers and start by just gluing that to the sides of the drawer. Given a little time, the glue has dried on these kind of quarter inch pieces of plywood that we cut. Now it's time to actually start gluing the drawer itself together. Welcome back, it's the next morning now. I left off last night with attaching the back and the front of the drawers, uh, glued that together and let it dry overnight. So I'm gonna take all of the clamps off, uh, finish putting in the last pocket screws, and then we'll drill pocket holes for the bottom, get the bottom attached, and the second drawer should be pretty close to being done. I was just testing the drawer here, but now let's go ahead and attach the bottom, and then we can install this one into the frame. I've been away for far too long and I've been looking for something and I already found In those sweet summer eyes Saying it's alright, baby Take comfort in the fear of being alive. All right, so the glue has been drying for about two hours. Time to unclamp everything. Finish putting in pocket hole screws, and then I think we can move on to installing this drawer onto the sliders and getting it into the frame. I think I'm actually gonna wrap up part two here. Both of the drawers are built. I know I didn't uh, mount the second drawer to the sliders in this video, but I think I need to build the smaller drawers and uh, do some measurements and kind of get those built before I can kind of mount the second drawer. In the third part, I will continue uh, finishing this up. Uh, it'll kind of be wrapping up and final details. So we'll go over building the smaller drawers, uh, mounting those, pretty much getting the drawers all put together. And then I'll also uh, talk about how I am going to be mounting this whole frame and securing it down to the Sequoia. I've got a lot of questions about how I plan to do that. and I. I'm pretty sure I just figured out a way earlier this morning. So stay tuned, that will all be coming in the third part. I appreciate all of you guys who are watching and following along with the series. It's been a lot of fun to see this all come together. Uh, don't forget to like and subscribe. It really helps me out. And I'll see you guys in the next part.